Hey everybody, welcome back to a Sunday special. I know it's been a few weeks. I know, I know, I know. But no worries, we are all back. And today we are taking a look at not one, not two, not three, but 29 individual 118th scale sprint cars. That's right, every single Acme sprint car that's been released that I have, that I have, let's specify that one by time, I only have this many. So yeah, there's a few that I don't have, uh, Rico Abrews, I don't have Shelton Hodden Shields, um, so there's a couple I'm missing, but... These are the ones that I do have, and I'm going to rank them from 29 all the way up to 1 being my favorite. Now, this is my personal preference list, and it is strictly based on how I view it and what I think they look like. So, without further delay, let's go ahead and get in there. First one we're going to be taking a look at today is Donnie Shots. So, this is Donnie Shots throwback. Um, I'm not exactly even sure when this was a throwback to. Um, I know it was a throwback to somewhere in the 90, early 90s or late 80s. Um, but you can see we've got Goodyear across the front. We've got uh, shot, what does that say? Shots, crossroads, trucking, or truck stops. So you can see that on the sponsorship side. You can see it's completely flat on the paneling. Um, also, we have, have the silver on the top wing and the front wing. Uh, but other than that, it's all blacked out. You can see we do have Shots tire, so um, we have all those things there. The purple and red number 15. So basically, the only reason this one is as far down as it is is just because T this is not a pleasing look. Uh, now, that being said, it is a retro. It is a throwback. It is historical. And so with it being that, I have a little bit more um, appreciation for it, but I still don't think it looks good. Like, if I had to pick a car to drive, this would be the last car on the list of what I want to drive. You know, if I could, say, drive one for a driving experience or something weird. So this one comes in at number 29. I know it's historical, but like I said, just in my opinion, it's really bland. It's, it's literally just a gloss black car, and then it has a weird font you know, red, orange, and purple number, just a really wacky color scheme. So like I said, historical, sure. You know, all the different precedents with that, awesome. But in terms of actual look, yeah, it's going to get a pretty low rating. So coming into the number 28 position is going to be the driver of the number 13. This is Justin Peck's car. Uh, and this car, honestly, is not a horrible looking car. I just do not care for the, the overall scheme. This car is not visually pleasing to me. And I think the biggest thing that throws it off, in my opinion, is the silver. If this was yellow and black, I think I would have a lot more like towards this car. But this being silver um, is not something that's very appealing for me. Now, I don't. I, I know that the silver is usually a more expensive thing uh, on these sprint cars. So that's why a lot of the older ones, number one, didn't have silver. But number two, a lot of these don't have the... Um, a lot of these cars don't have the uh, the painted ones if they're trying to save some money. So, like I said, um, overall you can see there's no sponsors on the hood or on the engine cover on the side here. Um, so very clean that way. Um, but like I said, I think the silver throws it off. Um, but overall, it's not again not terrible. The color combination just not my thing. You know, yellow, bright blue, and black. I don't know. It just didn't quite work right. I think if the, the silver would help it, but this one comes in at number 28. So coming into the number 27 spot, we're going to have actually a, a driver from the NASCAR Cup Series. This one is going to be Christopher Bell's 20, 20, or 2019 Plan B sales uh, sprint car. And this one, the only reason this one is as far down as it is, it's literally just black. It's an all-black car, one blue and white line through it, and then you can see the Plan B sales logo, which I do love their logo. The logo looks really good. Uh, you can see we got uh, Bell across the front of it there. But overall, the, the paint scheme, because it's it's so bland, it's just gray, black and a little bit of blue and that little bit of blue is only on the on the front there and a couple little lines here and there so um like i said as far as visually appealing this is not one that visually you know catches my eye and makes me go "Ooh, that looks cool it's kind of just you know kind of bland so like i said um there's other car there's literally other cars that have a lot of black on them um but this one for some reason i think it might also be because of the nerf bars so if i, I had i didn't point it out earlier Nerf bars, silver, silver, silver. And because of that, I think that might be part of it because it's not all blacked out. Um, but yeah, like I said, this one, just not visually appealing. You know, I, I look at it from all the angles and I'm just kind of like, it doesn't, you know, doesn't go. So uh, I tried to rate it with at least the objective part that I can remember. Um, but like I said, that one, unfortunately, just doesn't have anything that really catches my eye and makes me go, ooh, wow, that's cool. Uh, so the next one here is actually going to be a Sammy Swindell throwback. Now, I know I didn't have the other throwbacks as high, but this one I will say... 
has some really cool looks to it. And here's why. We got the gold number here on the tank and then gold ring around these wheels here on the beads. That looks really sharp. So yes, as much as I didn't like the silver, uh, the Kodiak up there, uh, we got Challenger there. You can see we got Kodiak on the side of the wing there. But the gold number, the mesh of these wheels, the way that they all kind of come together, uh, this one looks pretty good. And again, I know it's a throwback, so I have a little bit of that um, brought in. This is all whited out, black bar, uh, cr roll bars here, but um, I think it's the, the combination of the number and the wheels and the way that they kind of fit together is the only thing that kept this one from being as far down as the other ones. Um, so don't get me wrong, this thing is still coming in at, good grief, number 26, no, 29, 20, 27, 27. So this thing still comes in at 20, not 27, 26, yeah. This thing's still coming in at 26. It's by no means near the top, but I'm just letting you know why it didn't end up further down the list considering how badly I rated the other throwback. So coming into the number 25 spot is going to be kind of a cool one. I actually really like it, but the number location throws me off, just like it does in the Cup Series. But this car is actually an absolute beauty outside of the number location. This is the Brad Doty Coors Light Sprint Car, and you can see we've got silver all over here, the bright red roll bars. Um, now, unfortunately, the Nerf bars are silver. I would love bright red Nerf bars. I'm telling you, bright red Nerf bars, and this thing is absolutely pop. Um, the only thing they can honestly do is if that number was right here on the wing, um, I think it would look better. I don't know. This just looks weird right in the middle of the wing. It, it doesn't look right. I don't know why. But overall, a beautiful car. I mean, I can't say enough how, how this silver and red go with each other. Look at this. Look at this on the side. The silver and red just absolutely go hand in hand. They look so good side by side like that. And I, I can't get enough of that part of it. I just, oh man, what it would be if they could have had this car uh, with the number location difference. So this one comes in at the number 25 spot. Um, like I said, it's... Um, Probably a little unfair because of how much of it is due to the number location, but I mean, man, that number location just throws me off. It, it, it's, I would love to give this a higher rating. It really is a good looking car, but I just couldn't. All right, so coming in the number 24 spot is going to be another one of the Plan B sales cars, uh, and this is the Christopher Bell 2022 Sprint car. Now, this one has Circle B die cast because they did a little brand change, um, but it's got the same problem as the other one. It's literally gloss black. This one at least has some color. Like, you can see the shift in the number from blue to red. Um, so we have a little bit of color added to it, which kind of bumps it up the list. Um, the big logo there, you can see on this side, we got a little bit of that red in there, and then here down the side. But overall, it's just the same issue of the other one. It's just, it's really busy. A lot of sponsors kind of stuck all over. And the car has very little identity. It's just black and then a bunch of stuff thrown on it, you know? Very little identity with the car and the paint scheme. So, um, like I said, it's all objective, or not objective, it's all subjective. So it's all my opinion, but that's where I rated this one at. Um, by no means is it a bad looking car, but if I had to pick, like I said, this one comes in at the number 24 position. So coming in at the number 23 position is going to be a car that I uh, recently picked. Not recently. It's been here for a little bit. But this is the Lucas Wolf Blue Ribbon Pat car. Now, this one is very neat from the stand the standpoint of the identity. Blue, orange, white, blue, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. Uh, this car honestly looks really, really sharp from the standpoint of, like, the identity of the car is clear. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is that the, the roll bar is black and the Nerf bars are silver, so they don't really like fit with the car in terms of there's no color to really help it mesh uh now that being said it is still a really sharp car the white on here really does ha pop a lot nicer than the blue did um the 5w looks decent um the font of the number is not i'm not a huge fan of that but you know that's just my opinion oh this wing looks like it's falling off um let's get you back on there why is that number so far off mm, almost we're gonna get that. Put, we're gonna get that wing back on there real quick. Oh, it just just pops right out, huh? I'm not sure why it's doing that. There you go. I don't know what's going on. The wing literally won't snap in place. Can't can't explain that one. It was in place just a minute ago. Oh, come on. There we go. Left. Oh my gosh. The right side just fell out. There we go. All right, so it's back in there now. But anyway, uh, the issue of it was basically just um, the overall color scheme of the car with the the way that the crossbars and nerf bars line up with it. It's it's by no means a bad looking car. These are all still good looking cars, um, you know. But there's a lot of really good looking sprint cars in competition. So uh, this one comes in at the number uh, twenty three position. I believe it's twenty three. Let me look. Uh, twenty three. 
29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Yep, 23. Okay, coming in at the number 22 spot, this is one that um, I actually wasn't as much prepared for. This is Logan Wagner's number one. Uh, this is the car I did see it run at Knoxville. Um, it does have the silver front and top wing on there, but there's something about that gold foil number one that just looks so sharp. It's a white, pink, and blue car, um, but it really flows nicely. I mean, look at this car. It has a really nice look to it down the sides. Not a lot of sponsorship with it. Um, I will say the silver really does interrupt um, the flow of all that white and pink and blue. I think if this would have been like an all white, all blue, all pink, whatever, just something, uh, I would have liked it quite a bit, but I get it. You know, there's, there's other reasons for that. So you can see we got Wagner across the front. Um, it doesn't have this cover either where the driver's at. They kind of have some of them have that cover that really makes it look nice. But um, the foil number where it's kind of that gold chrome um, on there looks absolutely spectacular. So I have to say I really like that. That's probably the only thing that put it this high up. It would have been probably further down if it wasn't for that really nice looking number. So um, still a good car, but comes in at the number 22 spot. So coming in at number 21 comes in a former Cup Series champion, the number 14 Rush Truck Center's car for Tony Stewart. Now this one has a red base and then it goes to the gloss black up top. Um, now the red is literally just around the bottom and once you get above there, it just goes all black. Uh, you can see plenty of sponsors. We got Rush Truck Center's, Ford, Sage. You can see Stewart across the wing uh, with a silver backing to it. We got Digital Ally, uh, Advanced Auto Parts, all that in here. Um, now this one, the only reason, I shouldn't say the only reason, but a lot of the reason this one doesn't have as much, the red uh, on the bottom, we do have this red ring around the right rear, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much just that red is the whole design. After that, it's just gloss black everywhere. So not a bad look by any stretch, but definitely, like I said, the rest of these, are you're going to start seeing a lot of really neat colors put together. Uh, Mobile One, Hunt Brothers PC, you can recognize a lot of the uh, the NASCAR sponsors on here. So, uh, But an overall good look, um, but not enough to bring that in any higher than number 21. Coming in at the number 20 spot is going to be driver of the number 1S. This is Logan Schuhart's 2022 Drydeen car. Uh, this is the Drydeen Duramax car here. You can see we've got uh, Drydeen, we've got Duramax uh, all across the front here. 1S, we got the little bit of the blue. So a lot of this car was really red before. Now it's got some blue on there. So you see the 1S with that little blue corner up there. Um, you can also see we do have uh, Drydeen and Duramax liquid armor on the top wing here. The red and the uh, white and red really do come together well. The little blue touch on the top of the wing and then here on the Duramax, it does look pretty nice. I will give it that. I think there is that element of it. Um, that I think really helps the look of it. You can see a little bit of blue here, a little blue up there, and it kind of helps balance all the colors. Um, so not a bad look at all. I, I really like the way the colors do flow together. Um, you know, there's a decent amount of blue, obviously more red and more white than that. So it definitely has like kind of a level of how many colors go in what spots, but um, I, we'll show it later. But the other one, I, I definitely like his older scheme better. So coming in at the number 19 spot is going to be the driver of the number 69. This is Bud Kading's car. Um, this one basically is an all black car, but the biggest thing that's a draw, that gold number looking absolutely sharp on the tail tank. You can see it up there on the top wing. Um, and the thing is, it's an all black car. So this one, unlike the Christopher Bell, they're not putting any little slight blue or slight green or slight yellow. It's just all black logos and then a gold number um so that's the only thing putting it a little higher like i said um this one probably wouldn't be quite as high if it had had a little extra um you know marker here or there and then if it had a little less busyness i know the sponsors you know are paid to be or you know they're paying to be on the car so i can't blame them but um you know the sponsor there's a lot of just really busyness going on so that's probably what keeps it further down is the fact that there's so much busyness on that side wing um but still a very good looking car like i said this number is absolutely mesmerizing so um definitely a really good one and that one comes in at the number 19 spot i mean i think it's 19 um 19 yeah 19 so coming in at the number 18 spot this is going to be the donny shots advanced auto parts car from this season uh this car is a uh yellow and black car overall uh that gap in here is definitely not something i'm a huge fan of that kind of hurts it a little bit but really honestly a, a decent looking car good color balance throughout the car um honestly the biggest thing with this one is just the yellow doesn't uh mesh as well with the black as as i would probably care for um you know is it a bad looking car absolutely not um but you know we're gonna get through a lot of other cars with a lot of really cool aspects to it so not a bad looking car by any stretch but the the advanced auto parts colors 
not my favorite. The yellow, uh, the primary of yellow and black, and then a little bit of red accent. It does flow together nicely. It's a good looking car. Definitely, I can see the Shots fans liking it, but I don't know. Uh, something about that yellow and black just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the the yellow not matching the advanced auto yellow. I, I can't tell you. But it, it comes in at number 18 nonetheless. So coming in at the number 17 spot, um, this one is going to be, uh, let's see, 17, 18. Uh, 18, 18 spot. No, this one is the 17 spot. Yeah, coming in at the 17 spot, this is going to be the 1A of Jacob Allen from the 2019 season. And this one I really, really like. And here's why. You can see the Drydeen logo, DRF, uh, Drydeen Racing Formulas, and you can see the diamond uh, plate kind of design underneath it. So we've got this nice teal color that's just kind of accented in there. The diamond plate looks great. Uh, and then the teal accent all around this car. It looks great from every angle. Look, we got Allen on the front. You can see we got the accents again. We go to this side, you can see the teal accents again. We got Dryden there. We got the shark on the front on the engine cover. This car absolutely stuns. Um, the biggest thing about this car is probably there's a lot of white on it, um, which does look pretty good, but because there's a lot of white and the crossbars and the nerf bars and the roll bars are all black, um, I think uh, all white would have really helped this thing pop. And I know it would because there's a lot of other cars that do have the white bars and it does pop. So um, great looking car nonetheless. It's definitely one of my favorite um, cars from the 2019 season. But um, like I said, I, there are a couple of things I think would have really helped it out. All right, so coming in at the number 16 spot, this is going to be the David Gravel car from the 2019 season. Uh, this one is the Houston Speedway and Jackson Motorplex. You can see we got the orange and black car. It's orange and black all the way around. You can see gravel on that front wing. Look at that, all orange with a black name across it. We got Houston Speedway up there, great looking logo. Uh, you can see down the side we have Houston Speedway and then the orange, it, it goes from black, it fades into orange, and then we've got a bright orange tail tank. Really like all of that. Would have really loved the, the car to have one, this part filled in. I think it would have looked really nice. But I also think this car would have looked great with black nerf bars and a black tail tank. Uh, or t not tail tank, but a black um, rear bumper. So those things would have really helped this car. I think it looks really good. Don't get me wrong. It's still on the top half for a reason. But I think it really would have looked nice with those black bars. I think it would have really helped it. So, uh, But either way, this one comes in at number 16. So coming in at the number 15 spot, this is going to be where I had to put... My favorite driver's car, unfortunately. This is, I say unfortunately, there's a, there's two of them, so don't worry. Uh, but this is Casey Kane's Caravan Trailers car. Now this one is fairly bland, um, but it is a, it's a blue and black with gray accent specialty. You can see we got the white Caravan, white curb records. Uh, we do have the number nine Caravan Trailers. So the kind of the blue and white, you can see it does have this covered in where the driver's at. I think that makes it look so much better because that Caravan logo would have been really hard to do without this um but you can see the number nine on the tail tank and up there on the top i love the font of the number always have uh we got caravan we got cane and then an all black roof very clean very cr clean up here uh clean around here as well we got valvoline we got cane across there caravan on this side you can see the white the gray all accenting together very nicely um so this one gonna come in it's a very it's a fairly simple car but i love the colors of the blue gray and white it's not my favorite i definitely have some other colors that really mesh together well but um um, the thing that lifts this one over some of the ones that are near it, one, it's Casey Kane. I have bias. I'm not going to be shy about it. But also, black Nerf bar, black bumper bar. I love when those bars are black. I think they look a lot sharper than when they're silver, um, unless the car has a lot of silver bars that really help it. You know, if their whole roll cage is black, you may as well add those back, too. All right. So coming in at the number 14 spot, this one is going to be Corey Eliasson's number 26 car from the 2019 or 2020 season. I gotta remember which one it was. Um, but this is the 26 Hagar Realty Service car. Um, this one really popped because of the white roll bars. You can see the white roll bars on the inside here down the front as well. The biggest thing I really wish they could have done, and maybe there's a rule against it because I've never seen one with white tail tank and nerf bars. So there could be a very good reason why that is. But I did really like those white bars there. You can see on the front, we got Eliasson white with blue lettering. We got Rudine on the top, white with blue lettering, number 26 there. And then it's fairly clean. Not a lot of sponsors on there. So it's a very crisp and clean color scheme. You can see down this side, all cleaned up. You can see it's a lot of blue, the white and purple accented tribal flames uh, look pretty darn sharp in there as well. Uh, the black tail tank and nerf bars, as much as I would love them to be white, 
I prefer that over silver for sure. Um, so overall, a really sharp looking color scheme in a lot, a big lack of sponsors. I think the lack of sponsors probably helps this one out quite a bit because like I said, this, this car is so crisp and clean down the side. I think more sponsors would have probably distracted from that and then probably sent a little lower on that list. All right, so coming into the number 13 spot, this is going to be one uh, that a lot of you Pennsylvanians are f familiar with. This is Lance Deweese's number 69K. Uh, this is the car that has run, oh gosh, I, I don't know how old or how long he's run this paint scheme. I really like it. Uh, but this is the bright baby blue and then the dark blue with an orange accent. Um, 69K, he ran, oh god, what did he win? Big, big race at Williams Grove he won again this year. Um, but yes, I love it. We got the blue accent. You can see the blue center of that rim on the front. Um, now here on the front, you do see we have a silver uh, top wing here, but you can see we don't have uh, we do not have his name across there. We have what is that conduit? Yeah, we got conduit across there. Uh, we got Downs Automotive, so a lot of sponsorships across the front there. Oh, look at all that orange accent though. Orange. I mean, all of that, all those sponsors have a little orange accent to them. So I don't know if that's planned or not, but all that orange really helps pop in with the rest of the car. If you're going to have a lot of busy sponsors, having them color coordinate sure sure does help. Uh, so here you can see the 69K. You can see Hess um, Rapid Tire there. Um, the blue looks pretty darn sharp. Um, I like the dark blue and the orange accent with that bright blue. Um, you can see we actually have some kind of metallic or, or brushed blue uh, steering bars here. I don't know what those are called. Uh, they're usually, what are they, steering linkages is what they call them? No, steering linkages, are, I don't know what they're called. Um, basically, they're a bar that helps hold the front axle up. Um, but yes, so really like that. You can see actually the shock as well has that brushed blue look. So very, those are the things that really help this car. It would probably be a lot lower if it wasn't for these bars here. And then the shocks being that brushed blue color. It looks really, really good um so i definitely can't complain about that but um yeah that that was probably what puts it as high up on this list because it probably wouldn't have ended up quite as high silver bars here here and then the black roll bars probably would have put it a little lower but um it does have at least the silver here to really help accent it so really good looking car nonetheless and uh comes in at the number 13 spot so coming in at the number 12 spot is kind of an interesting one this is going to be James McFadden's Bold Rock Caravan Trailers 118th scale. Now, this one is not actually how it was bought. So I'm going to pull the wing off here and show this one off because it's kind of a specialty. So here's the chassis. This is the normal chassis. It looks the same in three variations. This is a variation. This is the Bold Rock where it's the black Bold Rock with the lettering here. And then we go over here and we've got the Bold Rock with white lettering. So we've actually got three options. You have this one here. And this one is the one that ran at the Bristol Dirt Race. And then you have this one here. And you can see that one has the darker lettering there. And then there's the regular caravan trailers look. So this one, the biggest thing that puts this one above the other Casey Kane uh, car is the Bold Rock logos. I think that little bit of extra color in there, that bright yellow really pops off the car. Really looks nice and sharp right there on the front. Look at that black and then bright yellow. And then you can see the same thing on the side here. I think it just really helps the car add a little, uh, you know, a little extra attitude to it. Um, and I think it looks pretty darn good. So, um definitely like the the way that this one looks um not sure which one's my favorite i think i might like the the white one better than the the black and gold but uh those are extra those normally come as just the caravan trailers which i would rank just alongside the case of cane one but because of the extra bold rock i think it just i don't know looks different and therefore i think it maybe looks cooler all right so coming in at the num at the number uh 12 spot i believe 10, 11 11 spot Coming into the number 11 spot is Donnie Schott's CarQuest car from the 2020 season, I believe. Um, this one is actually way better in person. So the die cast, I, I put it number 11. The actual position I would put it if it was in person, because I got to see him, would be much closer to the top, and here's why. The blue and red you see on this car was actually a chrome version of a decal so they had chrome blue and chrome red all down the side of this car it looked absolutely gorgeous now all the silver looks really good um you can see it down this side here all that silver really does look nice the blue and red accents look perfect with the car quest logo and the number it all flows together really really nicely the silver bars on the nerf and rear bumper don't really have an issue you can see we've got shots there on the front with the black backing to it um so overall it's a really good looking car this one probably would have been helped by having that that little uh covering here that you know gets the uh covers up the driver a little bit i think that would have probably helped this car go a little higher up um but i mean it still did reach almost into the top 10 so i can't be too too disappointed on that all right so as we reach into the top 10 uh coming in at number 10 is going to be blackjack brian brown's 
Casey's General Store car. This one, honestly, if it for oh, I, I got I got news for you here. We'll get to it, but um, this car would have been a little bit higher if it wasn't for two things. One of them being the Casey's logo. As a loyal Iowan, I hate this Casey's logo. Absolutely cannot stand it, and it really hurt this car. So thanks, Casey's. It's your fault. I'll blame you. But I love, and I'll say it how many times. I love the roll bars, Nerf bars, bumper bar, all white, all around. This is a white out car. I think it looks really, really good. I would love it if that Casey's logo was at least if it wasn't corrected back to the old logo which i'd like this logo i just don't understand if you're gonna make it simple why did you go with such a dumb font like that font is just stupid come on i love the fvp logo i love the font of fvp put that font in that logo and hey we might have something but they went with this looks like a kindergartner drew it come on so uh this car i blame mostly on casey's because actually the car itself looks really good again same thing as before that little cover for the driver would have really helped but white bars all the way from the top wing all the way down to the you know bumper bar nerf bar everything all white looks absolutely crisp and clean i love it and that's why this one gets as high up as it is because like i said outside of that casey's logo this thing would be a lot higher but uh thanks a lot casey's dragging them down all right so coming into the number nine spot in this list is going to be the 2022 version of david gravel's houston speedway car now this is the black and white version uh now they did move the number forward i don't think that's kind of a gravel preference um but the black and white really does pop nicely especially at uh at nationals it looked really good you can see gravel across the front but that real white backing down there and then up at the top just i don't know accents the car very nicely jackson motorplex we got billion automotive group uh or billion automotive there we got houston's up there you can see here the the way that the transitions from black to white instead of black to orange and i don't know the white and or with orange accent pops so much more than just black and orange so there's black and orange then there's black and white with an orange accent and the, i'm telling you the black and white just pops uh and that's what really helps it solidify itself at the number uh nine spot Coming in at the number eight spot is going to be a little bit of a custom thing done. This will actually be available on the website for those of you looking. Uh, for you Alex Bowman fans, it's time to listen up a little bit because this car is the number 55 Valvoline with Alex Bowman's name across it. Now, it was originally a CJ Leary car, but went through and you added, um, oh, there we go. You can see a Bowman decal there. And there's a Bowman decal on that side, and then there's a Bowman decal there. So three little Bowman decals covering up the CJ Leary name parts, and then it's literally an Alex Bowman sprint car. Uh, you can see this driver cover, the original motor oil. Without that driver cover, this thing would be not near as high. Uh, this is a uh, really good throwback. It looks really cool, especially next to Kyle Larson's number five throwback. Uh, not throwback, but it's just normal Valvoline scheme. Um, you can see with the original motor oil, it's got kind of a mix of an old school feel, but would also with a, a modern font on the number. Black bumper bar, black nerf bar um the white across the bottom just looks really cre really clean the white kind of just across the bottom and then across the front so the car really has a flow of color like you can see the white stays below that line everything's right up here everything's white down there except for the valvoline logo so i think it looks really good bowman of course i love the fact that it's white with blue numbers and then the valvoline can there so really really clean and crisp look really like this one that's what brings it in so high up it would probably not be near as high up uh with a couple of small tweaks but um definitely really like this uh the bowman colors i think uh, his ally one looks even better all right, so coming in at the number seven spot is going to be the 2021 Cup Series champion. This is Kyle Larson's Tarleton Trailers car. Now, this one doesn't have the driver covering or any of that, but this one's just clean. You can see we've got the JVI group. We've got Larson on the wing. And then, look, it's nothing. It's just white, black. Over here, you got white, Tarleton Trailer, Finley Farms, and then GSR here, but it's all pretty clean. Just one sponsor, one sponsor. And that's what really helps this car. A lot of the smaller sponsors are kind of bunched up back there and over here. And then you look at it from this side, it is all white out. Just a straight white out drop, black rims, black exhaust, black bars here. I still think these should be black personally. I think that would help. But very, very clean car. You can see Finley Farms across here, but it's it's clean. There is no other stuff jumbling around. So if you're going to go with white out, go white out. Like that's the thing that really hurt the plan B car and the circle B car is that they added this extra little accent in on a couple of random spots and it really hurt. You see the black number with the orange accent. Orange accent is here, 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 and then up here, this little one bar here. So very little orange. You can make it work as long as it doesn't overwhelm the car. And this one does a really good job of that. So uh, that's what brings this one in at the number seven spot. 
Coming in at the number six spot is going to be the winner of the... Oh, I think he won the most money this year. This is Brent Marks, number 19, uh, M&M Construction's car, or what is it, M&M Painting and Construction. Uh, but this one is really great just from the standpoint of look at all of the black and white and red mix. It's really a good combination of colors. We still have the driver encased in here. That always helps. You got Marks across the front wing. You got M&M. Uh, you got A. Murray uh, Family Investments there. Um, you can see the biggest thing on this one is it goes from black to white. You can see the kind of balance between the black, white, and red. I would say there's probably like 30% black, 30% white, 24% red, and then a, the rest is for sponsors or something. But very, very crisp car. I love the, the way the paint scheme goes together. Uh, of course, the, the number font looks really good as well. Uh, tail tank being white with the black number on there. I really like the way that came out. Um, but yeah, just a, a good, sharp-looking car. Obviously, won a lot of money this year, so it doesn't doesn't hurt the car to, to be fast either. Uh, but the black rims look really good as well. So that's what will bring this car in at the number six position. Now, coming in at the number five spot is going to be the number eight of Aaron Reitzel. I love this car for a couple reasons. It's very simple. You can see we've got the side wing almost doesn't look quite as good, but the front looks great. You can see the big, giant red square for Toyota. We've got Reitzel. we got VA Electric, so it's black and a little bit of red. Then you go to the side, and it's all white. You see Mobile One down the side, really big sponsor, dominates the side. you got white, red, white. TRD, so a lot of really good parts to it. Bumper bar, or Nerf bar and, and uh, bumper bar are both black. That really helps this car out as well. So um, this one's a little bit more simplistic, but that's what I think helps the car pop a little bit better. I did like Brent, Brent Mark's side wing better, but uh, the rest of the car has to go better to Reitzel. All right, so coming in at the number four spot, this is going to be the Logan Shuhart car from 2019, one of my absolute favorites. Red diamond plate, we got the Shark. We've got the 1S. You can see on the top, all red with Drydeen. We've got Shuhart in black across there. we got DRF there. But the biggest thing about this one that I love, all blacked out rims, the black roll cage. These bars, if they were black, the bumper and Nerf bars would have really helped. But I love the red diamond plate and the dominance of the red diamond plate. It's all over this car. You can see red diamond plate all through here and all the way up here. So the dominance of the red diamond plate really is what sold me on it. I love the balance. It's like heavy red, heavy white, and that's it. Not a lot of other colors. And and that's what makes me really, really like this car. Coming in at the number three spot is going to be the four, three. I can't remember how many championships he's gotten now, but this is Brad Sweet's Napa car. Love this car. I love the Napa car. Napa just getting to dominate it makes it really look really nice. The darker blue number with the white background. Big Napa logo there. ASE as well. Uh, big Napa down the side, and you see Napa Auto Parts there. Um, also, this car does have the little protector here, so that always makes it look good. White tail tank with the bright or with the darker blue number with yellow uh, outline. I love the blue with yellow outline. I think it looks really good. Napa really has big logos on the hood or on the uh, engine cover, Valvoline there. But I just this car. The combination of the blue and white with the way the number and the with the yellow outline looks, I love it. I love the number with the yellow outline. I think it looks really good. Um, and that's what brings it in at number three. I mean, obviously winning lots of races and me being a huge fan certainly helps. But, um, you know, there's something about the, the way this scheme all comes together that just looks so darn sharp. So coming into the number two spot is going to be my favorite Cup Series driver at the moment, and that is Chase Elliott's Tarleton trailer car. Now, this one is the A-Shot car, and here's the thing. This car, there's no design. It's just simple. It's all black, all over black all the time. You can see we've got Elliot in silver outline coming across the front wing. We got silver Tarleton trailer. We got silver A shock there. It's literally all black and all silver. Raiders fans rejoice. That's what this car is. You can see we got the 21. We got A shock Tarleton. You can just see, look at this car. This matte black looks so sharp. I'm telling you, you just see it from that light right there. That light right there is all you got to see. This thing is crisp and clean absolutely love this car and it's literally just all blacked out i mean it's a blackout car there's a recent blackout looks good you do blackout right it looks really really good and this is no exception look at how sharp that looks and uh that's what brings this one to the number two spot now you might be thinking well what could possibly be better than my favorite cup series driver with an all blacked out car well let me tell you the only thing that could possibly have knocked that off its pedestal is my favorite driver from my childhood and his new version uh of that car this this is the number nine Fuel Me car. Uh, now this one has the regular old blue that we had from before, but then we add a lot of yellow, black, and um, the you know the front wing here. That yellow really accents the car nicely. I think the yellow brings a nice 
uh, element of kind of a warm color to the car. When it was blue, white, and gray, it was all cool colors. You add that yellow in there, and it really helps pop the car off. You can see we got Caravan still. We got Fuel Me, though. And that yellow just really pops he up here, down here. You can see it on that wing, on the tip of the front wing, tip of the top wing. That yellow really ex accents the car nicely. Uh, we have a lot more black on this card, whether it's down the side, on the front wing. You can see it down the other side here. It's all kind of blacked out in there. So a little bit more black. Uh, mixed in along with the uh, the gray kind of transitioning to a bright yellow really looks nice the bumper obviously black 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 rims and um, obviously we have the number nine there as well so um, love the way this car looks obviously I have my bias do not get me wrong but I absolutely love this car I was so excited when it came in and I thought it looked so darn good I actually displayed it uh, on the desk here for a while and I normally don't do that uh, but it, I thought it just looks so darn cool so uh, obviously the top two here <laughs> happened to work out just right but I, I I do objectively think these are two of the best looking sprint cars you can get. Um, don't get me wrong, the Kyle Larson car is going to be popular because he's so good in the sprint car world, but these two are, are probably my favorite two. I think they look the best. Um, and I really like the Elliott one. I really think it looks good. Honestly, it might win if the number wasn't on the front of the wing. I prefer it at the back here where the number nine is. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I think most of them put up there, and I just think it looks makes the car look like you know better i don't know why i can't really explain it i just think it does so i can't there's nothing other than that it's, it's all personal preference um but you know that that element might have been able to jump it but i love both of these cars this one's got more gloss black this one has more flat black i mean this one's got flat black all over it just looks absolutely great and then this uh, it's literally all all black and silver i i can't express how good it looks i mean if it doesn't look good on camera it looks amazing in person and then this one as well i i really like this car obviously i have my biases to it but i love the yellow i thought the yellow really helped this thing pop and it i mean if you guys don't know, this is a, a Blackbeard design. He does a lot of the Casey Kane racing sprint cars. He did a lot of the 95 cars when they were at Levine. So check him out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't know. But he posts pictures of the schemes they do. And, uh, I mean, you'll notice a lot of, of NASCAR teams have got random schemes or different schemes that he's done. And they all look really, really sharp. So, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the Sunday special. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, you can find most of these sprint cars at rasdiecast.com. Sadly, you cannot find this one. I did not have any extras, so... You can't find that one, but there is a few Chase Elliott's left. There's a few, um, I think there's even one Kyle Larson left. It's a lot more expensive than you'd probably like to know, but um, but there's a lot of sprint cars on there, um, so I definitely recommend checking them out. Use the promo code RACEGRAZE to get yourself 10% off at checkout. Uh, that's just a thank you for watching the channel. But thanks for tuning in to the Sunday special, everybody. Um, that'll pretty much wrap it up. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next DieCast review.